Hey, all you heat seekers out there. Welcome back to Fat and Spicy. I'm Fat. And I'm Spicy. This is the channel that's dedicated to everything with flavor and spice and not so nice. Remember to check us out every Tuesday for new content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. All right, today we are back to hot sauce reviews. We just had this one shipped into us. It is Vio's Sauce. There's their logo right there. And they are another local sauce from North Carolina. Um, it's always cool when we can do something a little local. So I'm going to get right into this. And we have a little thank you note up top. Oh, has some uh -oh, stuff sticker. in there. There we go. The sticker for cool. uh, like the up, logo going up on our sticker board. And then just a little VO sauces card over here. I'll set that to the side. Hello, fat and spicy. Thank you so much for your interest in trying our hot sauces. We noticed how much you love peppers and flavor, so we thought we'd send you some of ours. We hope you enjoy. Please let us know if you have any feedback or suggestions. Vio sauce. Well, I'm sure we'll have plenty of feedback. Um, probably not a lot of suggestions. We don't really have a lot to say uh, negatively usually about sauces. I think everyone that sent us sauces so far has been super awesome. So. Uh, we got four sauces in here. It's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Let's see what we're getting into. And again, there's no order here, so I'm just going to kind of pick. This one stands out to me just because of the color. So let's, let's try this one. As he's working that sticker. Yeah. Get it up there. Today, we are putting our hot sauce on wings from Publix. I just posted a recent uh, picture with some other hot sauce we had and I put it on the, my wings for my football Sunday. Yeah, make sure you uh, follow the Fat and Spicy Instagram. We usually post uh, more things that we do with the hot sauces after the video, stuff like that, and just uh, other, other content. So this one is called, actually before I take the lid off, let me just show you this because this is kind of crazy. That's a I don't know different you, color. Yeah, that's oh, there you go. I don't, I don't catch it. That's a, a bright. Oh yeah, it's like a bright red, but it looks thick. Almost it's, it's pink. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, like a pink color. It's really interesting. I assume so it's called Palmberry Hell. So I assume we got some pomegranate, which is giving it that color. So we got Carolina Reaper, varying peppers, strawberry, pomegranate, purple onion, and vinegar. So the the pomegranate, maybe some of the purple onion. All right, so if you're new around here, we always give everything a sniff test to see what we're getting into. Ooh, there's a bubble. Yeah. Yeah, this brings back memories of uh, childhood that we used to eat those pomegranates. My uh, granddaddy drove a produce truck, and so we would always have uh, a lot our choice of fruits. I only ever had pomegranate seeds. It smell it's it's spicy, but it's, you smell that pomegranate. It really does stand out. Does it give a heat level? I don't see a heat level. Oh, there's not anywhere. a heat level, but it says Carolina oh, Reaper. Carolina Reaper. It might. Uh, <laughs> That's all it has to say. Be bringing a little pain. Yeah, they they didn't say anything about it smells heat, good though heat level or anything. So <laughs> I don't know. This could be dangerous. Ooh. Oh yeah, the danger. The only thing dangerous here is his pores. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's a nice, like, it's, it's a thick, I imagine. Uh, <laughs> he grabs the one with the lesser sauce on it. <laughs> you turned it this way. I thought that was my sign. But it almost looks like a, um, like, like the uh, fruit was, like, you know, gra not ground up, blended up and put on there. So I think it's going to have a really good flavor to it. This is a pomegranate hot sauce puree. Ooh, that <laughs> is hot. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. He dumped it all on my wing. Ooh. Wow. Now, I mean, I, I said Carolina Reaper, but that was hotter than I thought. It was well, be. I mean, it's spicy, but it's got a good flavor. You taste the pomegranate. I mean, that comes through really strong. Yeah, which is nice. That's that's a, that's different. I that is unique. That is not uh, taste like any other sauce we've had. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, first uh, first sauce of pomegranate so far, so congrats, Vio. And sticking with pomegranate, they have another pomegranate sauce right here. Pomegranate from hell. So that was the palm, was it palmberry hell? Yeah, palmberry hell and pomegranate from hell. 
Let's see what the difference is. Here. That so one this one says less of a. That's more yeah. of a reddish than this one was. A little pink. bit, a little bit different texture. And this one says uh, Carolina Reaper, varied peppers, pomegranate, lemon, and vinegar. So this one is pomegranate and lemon as opposed to oh, this one had the strawberry in it too. I, don't, I had to look right over that strawberry. I feel like I didn't even say strawberry the first time when I read the. You ingredients. didn't. You, yeah, I you walked right have, over it. Wow, I might have skipped that. I'll have to look back at that. But yeah, so that one has strawberry. No wonder it's so pink. I mean, it has purple onion, strawberry, and pomegranate. So this one has the pomegranate and lemon. So that so. would add to the sweetness of it. Yeah, I'm expecting a little bit more zap, zippity zap from this one without lemon in it. Yeah, we'll see how he pours this Ooh. one. He may be fired from porn in the future. And this one's very full, so I'm going to have to just dippity doop. Ooh. Now, I will say they're both... Uh, uh, the consistency is thin. This one's even more watery. Yeah. And almost, uh... There we go. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing so far is it's... Well, it's not even necessarily the texture. It's just, like, this one was so full, I couldn't, like, really truly pour it to Did the side. Did you shake so, it first? Yeah, I, I shaked it as, or shook it as much as I could, so... Yeah, but, you know, the rookie over here, he forgets that, uh... We do a sniff test. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I forget. All right. Any different? Yeah, that's that's a unique. Uh... Well, you smell that lemon, yeah. Yeah, that lemon's gonna come to good. All right, there we go. All right, so palm berry hell, pomegranate and lemon. Mm. Also spicy, <laughs> right up front. Yeah, it's got a kick, but. Yeah, you definitely taste the lemon come through more. The other one was a little bit sweeter. This one has that same pomegranate, but that uh, lemon tartness really comes through a little bit more, which I like. Definitely a very summery sauce. And I believe it said um, on their Instagram, they're kind of like Caribbean uh, style sauces, so it makes sense. A summery sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sticking with the fruit sauces before I move on to it, I'm going to save this original for last. This one is an apple kiwi bomb. Wow. And here we just got varied peppers, apple, kiwi, and vinegar. Can't say I've heard of one with kiwi yet. That is that is another uh, unique. Yeah. And it's interesting. Like this one, if, if you had these in a lineup, this one looks the hottest. This one yeah, looks the scariest because of the seeds and everything, but I don't know. I mean, the other one's like a mash. The other one said Carolina Reaper first, and this one just says varied peppers. So I'm guessing it's a little bit less hot, but I mean... We've been surprised before. And sniff test. Mm. Just like the ones before, like it smelled, it does smell hot, but you smell the apple and kiwi. Yeah, but this one smells along the lines of a, like a cayenne, cayenne yeah. pepper and maybe habanero. It is nice. I, I always um, appreciate like when someone does something unique with the sauce, like you really want to be able to taste that flavor. You don't want it to... You know, be like one of one of those uh, Lacroix seltzer waters where it's like a hint of the fruit. And I will say, for the most part, because I, I eat a lot of these, I use a lot of these sauces on many different things, whether it's spaghetti, wings, pizza, uh, barbecue, you name it. You'll see some of the pictures that have been posted, but uh, you'd be surprised the being that it's a fruit flavor in these. It doesn't limit what you can put these sauces on. Yeah, it actually probably broadens it a little bit. And that sauce is a lot thicker than the last one, just yeah. so you can see that. Mm. Oh, wow. Very appley. Well, appley, I do taste the kiwi too. And that's cool. I mean, you, you really do taste both. Kind of tastes like a. Mm, I wanted to lean more towards Granny Smith at first, but. That might be the no. honey crisp or something. I'm not sure. I'm sure they'll tell us yeah, after, like after a, they see the review. More like a uh, a Fuji or a uh, honey crisp. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's good. I want some more. Yeah, open that up. Now there's this will be good for the those that don't uh, do well with heat. This is a pretty mild heat, but lots of flavor. Yeah, a little less hot. A little less hot, but still plenty of flavor. Hey, oh, no, I like that one. Yeah, that's good. All right. We are about being honest. If it doesn't uh, meet up with the 
flavor standards or anything like that, we'll let you know. Yeah. And so far, yeah. Those and are, these are it's three for three. Those are some strong, good stuff. strong flavors. All right. Getting some more wings out. And we're moving on to the original. I guess this now, is the sauce that started it all. <laughs> I don't know if you can Jeez. see the size of that sucker. <laughs> That's not natural. <laughs> that is, I, that's not good I, I want to see the chick that those came that, off of that chicken had like Botox injections yeah, and, and implants or he something was, he was on steroids Yeah. alright here we go let's smell this original oh well, actually I'm sorry let's, let's see this ingredients uh, berry peppers cauliflower I guess that makes sense there's a lot of like ground up white in, in the sauce and I've never, we never had a sauce of cauliflower. Very interesting move. Uh, carrot, onion, tomato, and vinegar. But a lot of good, uh, you know, vegetable products. So that's so, pretty cool. So, yes, I do have a, a dad joke. <laughs> Why did this particular chicken cross the street? Because he was going to put the coyote in his place. <laughs> he was giving him a smackdown. And it's funny, so like now we're on like the opposite. So we started out very watery, and now this one's like very thick. Yeah, that's like it's yeah. almost some pudding. Yeah, this one's like very much like a thick puree. Yeah, it doesn't want to spread, so I'm just going to manually spread it. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got Definitely yeah, got, there a, you go. a dose of this. Oh, we didn't smell that one. Yeah, I could, this this is definitely more of a. Uh, it smells like a vegetable type. Yeah, uh, yeah, the veggies come through pretty strong. I think like those carrots and onions. Yeah, yeah, definitely come through strong. So, and again, no idea about the heat level. So I guess we'll find out. All right, you ready with your steroided up chicken? <laughs> a Hulkster chicken here. Very unique texture. I mean, obviously it's much thicker. And I think it's just because all those veggies are so ground up. But honestly, somehow, I didn't think cauliflower had a taste, but the cauliflower, you kind of taste it. You do taste it. Yeah, again, so this one is um, milder in heat. Definitely more tame on the flavor as well, since it's, you know, more much more just veggies. And the other ones, you know, have all those fruit flavors in it, so it's going to be a lot more... Uh, those other ones are going to be more loud. Yeah, there's there's not a, a, a punch of uh, flavor like there was with the the uh, fruit sauces. Yeah, but it's still a good sauce. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's still... It's, it's good. Yeah. And honestly, I'm, when I'm trying that sauce, I'm thinking I'm going to mix that in with stuff. I'm going to mix that in with chilies. I'm going to mix that in with soups. Um, mostly because of that texture. I'm, I'm going to want to mix it in with something. Um, it didn't, you know, go so well just like, you know, sitting there on the wing. So I think I would want to mix it with some other foods. All right, guys. So that was VO sauces. Again, we got the three uh, fruit ones here. We got the pomegranate strawberry, pomegranate lemon, and apple kiwi. Uh, super good. Um, you know, these two really spicy. Uh, this one a little bit milder, but still plenty of flavor. And then, of course, the original still good, still has that spice but a lot more tame on the flavor. You got more of that veggies instead of that, um, instead of the fruit, but still all great sauces. We'll, as always, we'll link them below so you can go buy these sauces and then any other, other products. And again, check them out on their Instagram too. Yeah, great job, guys. Enjoy them all. I can see, uh, you'll, you'll be seeing some Instagram pictures in the near future with some uh, items I think up to put it on. Before we leave today, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content. We have a ton of hot sauce reviews coming, a bunch of spicy challenges, uh, and plenty of other stuff. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow the Fat and Spicy Instagram so you don't miss a thing, and we'll see you next time. With all that being said, remember to keep it fat and keep it spicy. See ya!